All right. Welcome in. We're going to get started here in just a second. Make sure that we got the feed going. All right. Perfect. Well, welcome in. My name is Leland Holgate, and I am the founder and president here at Warriors for Life America. And I love doing this midday reset with you guys. This is something that really helps me uh, the most. With these self-regulation techniques, it's really easy to bring yourself back to the moment. And I know a lot of the times, you know, our day really gets muddied by outside influence. And I talk about that all the time because it's, it's absolutely true. You know, we, we find ourselves with these outside wants and outside needs. And it makes sense. I mean, you have a job or you have kids or you have people that are counting on you and things that, that you need to get done through the day. But if you remember back to the beginning part of the day, you probably had something that you wanted to get done. You had goals set for yourself for that day. Maybe a simple task, something that you wanted to do and because of the outside wants and influences and outside needs of everybody else or whatever your job might call from you. Of course, it's easy to get lost in, in all of that monotony, you know, the, the minutia of the day. So this is a great chance for you to take 10 to 15 minutes to yourself to sit aside and really just kind of come back to the moment for yourself and remind yourself what you want for you. So welcome into the Midday Reset. These self-regulation techniques that we're about to go through are scientifically proven to help bring yourself back to the moment, to lower heart rate, to soothe the body, to soothe the mind, bring you back to where you would like to be. At least allow yourself to deal with the things that you want in your life at the moment. So for me, these have helped out in such a huge way from where I've come from. And you know, a lot of you may know my story uh, being a combat veteran and, and coming out of the military, um, having issues with drugs and alcohol and, and rage and just constantly blaming outside sources for, for what had happened in my life. Well, yoga, of course, has helped me put myself back together. And more specifically, these self-regulation techniques have allowed me to bring myself back to where I can deal with the things that I need to deal with for me, to realize that I'm the one person that controls my life. If I'm the problem, there's, a group, there's really great news about that. That means I'm also the solution. That means I can also affect change in my life and take care of the things that I need to take care of for me and not be that victim mentality anymore. Trading that victim mentality for a victor's mindset is exactly what I've done in life. And these self-regulation techniques have been key in helping me do that. So big thank you to Joyce and Darwin Bozen and Dr. Nicole Anders. They're the founders over at Trauma Recovery Yoga and the ones that came up with these self-regulation techniques. And now I've made it my mission to bring this out to the world so that we can share these techniques with everyone and help you start to affect your own healing process in your life. So these are things, of course, that will help you. Uh, it's not a, a cure-all. But it is something that if you practice these techniques at least once a day for yourself, you're going to notice a huge difference in your life. You're going to notice the fact that you're a little more present with yourself in the moment. You're not going to be concerned so much about the past. You're not going to be concerned so much about the future. Of course, our past has affected us, but our past has brought us to where we are. And our future, of course, setting goals is great. But you're going to focus more on the present moment, which is what these things, these self-regulation techniques help me do for myself. So as we move through, you're going to notice we have a certain order that we move in. And I say it all the time. There are two worst things that you can tell anybody that's either sad or upset. And that's calm down or cheer up and breathe, which is absolutely impossible when the adrenal glands are pumping adrenaline out through your body and you're upset about something or you're sad about something that's happened in your life, those are the two things that you cannot do in that moment. So just focusing on those two things can actually create more anxiety. 
It can create more anger, more sadness, and loss of control or that feeling of loss of control in yourself. So we move through orientation, grounding, centering yourself by pulling in your abdominal muscles, those intrinsic muscles, and then we can bring you to breath. So we're about to move through that process here in just a moment. If you could find yourself in a seat, that's the beautiful part about these. You don't have to be anywhere special. You can be on a mat if you would like, but you can be in a chair or you can be on your couch. You can be anywhere you want to be. So we're going to start off by sitting all the way back into the chair. Let the back of the chair support you and notice your feet connected to the ground. Now take your hands, just place your hands onto your knees and let your chin fall to your chest. No need to force it, just allow it to fall. And while we're here, pick out four different shapes or four different colors, maybe four different patterns. Be the color of your skin, maybe the patterns on your clothing. Maybe you notice your shoes or your feet, maybe the shapes on the floor. Anything to bring yourself into this moment, right now. Notice all the points connected to the ground or supported by your chair. This is grounding, noticing all the points of contact, of support, and contact with the earth. This helps bring you further into this moment. As we're looking down, this sends the signal to our brain, all is well, I am safe, I am right where I should be. Start to take stock of where you are in this moment. Just use curiosity. Leave judgment aside. Just notice where you might be tense, where you may be holding, or where the breath may be restricted. No need to change any of these things. Just allow yourself to be curious and notice, using mindfulness, notice where you are. Start to pull your belly button in towards your spine. Really engage the lower intrinsic muscles now by restricting the flow of urine. Keep everything pulled in and up. Keep everything engaged there and you start to feel that center of your body heat up. That's your internal furnace, your internal core temperature firing up. This helps pull all that mind chatter down away from the brain where it could be burned up and used for fuel. Keep everything engaged, pull everything in and up. Allow that power start to build and notice that that power comes from you. Keep everything engaged for just a moment longer. Now slowly start to release. And now filling up with our three-part breath from the very bottom all the way to the top. As you inhale, big belly, into your chest, into the back of your eyes. Exhale through your chest, press your belly button to your spine. Inhale, big belly, into your chest. Washing around behind the eyes. Exhale through your chest. Press your belly button to your spine. Inhale, big belly. Into your chest. Cleansing behind the eyes. Exhale through your chest. Press your belly button to your spine. Now come back to your organic breath. Just take stock of the body. Notice your forehead and jaw release. Shoulders away from your ears. Your hands just gently lying on your knees with a slight separation in your fingers. And your feet connected to the ground. On your next inhale, take your right ear to your right shoulder. Head rolls back. Exhale, left ear, left shoulder, chin to your chest. Inhale, right ear, right shoulder. Continue to roll around and find that pace that works for you. Your pace, your rules. That popping and cracking is just nitrogen leaving the joints. Link your breath to your movement here. 
We're going to roll around one more time. Let your chin fall to your chest and give yourself a moment of pause to let any dizziness subside. That's completely normal. On your next inhale, take your left ear to left shoulder, head rolls back. Exhale, right ear, right shoulder, chin to your chest. Inhale, left ear, left shoulder. Continue to roll around. Again, link your breath to your movement and move at your own pace as you allow that popping and cracking to release all that old stagnant energy, making way for the new. Roll around one more time. Let your chin fall to your chest. And give yourself another moment of pause here. And start to lift your gaze. You can blink your eyes open. And now bring your left hand over to your right knee. Your right hand is going to come either behind your chair or you can grab around the right arm of your chair. This way you can inhale, sit up tall. As you exhale, twist at the base of the ribcage. Inhale, tall. Exhale, twist. Inhale, tall. Exhale, twist. Now look forward, slowly unwind, and so you're not walking in circles, let's do the other side. Right hand on the left knee. Your left hand comes behind the chair or on the left arm. As you inhale, sit up tall. Exhale, twist at the base of the ribcage. Inhale, tall. Exhale, twist. Inhale, tall. Exhale, twist. And slowly look forward. Unwind yourself. And when we come back, reach your arms up overhead. Interlock all of your fingers except for your pointer fingers. Keep that pointer. And as you inhale, reach up. As you exhale, come up and over to your right. About one o'clock. As you inhale, reach with your top hand. Exhale, pull with the bottom. Inhale, reach, exhale, pull, inhale, reach, exhale, pull. As you inhale, come back up to the center, reach up, stretch up. As you exhale, come up and over to the left. Inhale, reach with the top hand, exhale, pull with the bottom. Inhale, reach, exhale, pull. And as you inhale, come back up to the center, separate your hands, and let your hands float down to your knees, let your chin fall to your chest. And again, notice the difference in the body. Forehead and jaw released, shoulders falling away from your ears, your hands on your knees, and your feet connected to the floor. And while we're here, I'd like you to start to think of everything that you're thankful for in your life. Send that signal out to the universe that you're ready for more. You can think of the simple things that make you happy. It could be the air that you breathe, or the availability of clean drinking water. Maybe you're thankful for the technology that creates that connection between us. You could be thankful for your clothing. Maybe the food that you eat. Continue to run that gratitude slideshow behind your eyelids, looking at everything that makes you happy, everything that you're thankful for in your life. Now take an inhale all the way to the top, fill up all the way. As you exhale, feel the facial muscles relax, release, forehead and jaw let go. Inhale all the way to the top, fill up all the way. As you exhale, feel the shoulders fall away from your ears, your hands become heavy on your knees. As you inhale all the way to the top, breathe in all the way. As you exhale, let go of any tension left in the body. All the way up. And 
And now start to picture yourself on a comfortable raft, just floating down the river. It's a beautiful day outside. The sun is shining. It's partly cloudy. The raft is soft and comfortable. You're taking that moment to lay back and let go of the day. You can hear the fish jumping and swimming. The gentle sound of the water as it slowly carries you down the river. You hear the birds chirping. You feel the cool breeze as it brushes across your face. You notice the unique sizes and shapes of the clouds. These clouds represent your thoughts. You notice as one pops up that it passes on by. And that next cloud pops up. You just watch as it breezes on by. just as easy as your thoughts pop up. And you watch it breeze past. You allow yourself to notice the very calm state of the body, the calm state of your mind. As you continue to think of everything in your life that you're thankful for, Start to think of everything that you would like in your life. All the ways that things could go right. Think of all the possibility. Allow yourself to relax in this state. Realizing that you have created the life that you want for yourself. Hold on to that gratitude and hold on to that picture of your life that you see for yourself. Let everything else fade away. And slowly bring yourself back to the room. Start to wiggle your finger. You can wiggle your toes. You start to blink your eyes open. You can lift your gaze. Come back to the room. And there is a perfect example of how 10 minutes can make an extreme change in your day. Just noticing the difference of the body and the mind from before till now. It's a huge deal because the biggest part of this is, is even though I led you through the practice, you did it yourself. So remember for you that you have that power to bring yourself back to the moment at any point in time. Nothing outside of you controls the inside circumstance except for you. Of course we can't control what happens around us. We can't control the things that happen outside of us, but we most certainly can control the way that we respond to those things that happen in our lives. And we can act out a frantic match, you know, frantic manner, or we can take that moment to ourselves to self-regulate, soothe the mind and the body, and bring ourselves back to this moment, giving us that now what philosophy. Now what am I going to do for me? Thank you so much for joining me. I really look forward to doing these with you every day. Uh, join us tomorrow for our midday reset, and you'll notice in the comments that I put both Warriors for Life and Trauma Recovery Yoga YouTube channels with all of the amazing resources that you might need for yourself. We have breathing exercises on Trauma Recovery Yoga. We have all of our yoga that's on there. We have chair yoga even. So if you're not as mobile or you don't want to be as mobile for the day, we have several different options for you. 
So go on there and check those things out. I'm really happy that you made it in today. Remember that you are a warrior, and it's an absolute pleasure guiding you through this practice. I hope you have an amazing day, and remember that power that you have inside of yourself. Take care, warriors.